We are back, you guys, for another What's for Dinner. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another What's for Dinner video. A lot of these clips are from my moms, and every time I would share a meal plan, you guys asked if I would share some of these dishes. So here we are sharing my chicken parmesan dish. This is one of my personal favorites, and it is my mom's pasta sauce, you guys. So this was like the perfect unity. My chicken parm and her sauce, so delicious. We did that with a side of a rigatoni pasta, and of course, I have an egg everything New York bagel right alongside of it, buttered that I was dipping in the sauce absolutely fabulous okay guys so no fancy plates at my mom's house but tonight we did that bacon wrapped filet mignon so these are only the six ounce filet mignon so they're not huge but they're perfect size and i pre-cooked the bacon a little bit i know it looks dark but the mats that we cook on we use those grill mats all the sauce and everything doesn't drip through so it ends up staying on the mat and it does make things a little dark but it's not burnt um, but all the bacon has like the barbecue sauce char on it and my dad used some of the Jack Daniels glaze from TGI Fridays and basted the steak and then we put our baked potatoes on the grill you guys oh so delicious and I have butter and sour cream of course with salt and pepper and I already ate my salad and we were going to make bread but we passed on that so we are just finishing up our filet mignon and our potatoes and this is what we're having for dinner tonight okay guys so tonight for dinner we are doing breakfast and although it, my plate is like super simple i had to film this because i wanted to show you guys this bread this is the absolute best bread for making french toast this is the brioche bread that i get from trader joe's it's very like dense and buttery like even in the package it comes with paper around the bottom like a cupcake would have or a pounds cake because it has that kind of texture but it's still bread so it's per it's pre-sliced it's perfect for french toast 11 slices come in the bag which is perfect for our family so that's what we're having tonight as far as the main course and then on the side i just made like the small breakfast sausages but i'm not a really big breakfast sausage person so i only have one small round patty and then these are just the hash browns that i got from Shoprite, but they're very similar to the ones I get from Trader Joe's, which I just do on the side of even my Arby sandwiches or breakfast. And I'll probably go back in for another one of those. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight. Okay, guys. So tonight for dinner, we did some of those steaks that my mom got from the gentleman who came to the door delivering me. And these were New York strips. They were super delicious, but unfortunately, I didn't get to barbecue them. I had to run out, and the instructions were not followed. So I really wanted to wrap the steak in bacon and get a really good char on it, but Dad didn't know what I needed, so he just made bacon and threw it on top, but it was still just as good. They had macaroni and cheese. I'm not a macaroni and cheese fan, so instead, I just made a bomb salad, which was so good. Croutons, cheese, lettuce really delicious dressing so good that's what we had for dinner tonight okay guys so if you saw my stuffing video then you've already seen this plate if you missed that video i'll make sure to put a card up top and in the description box but this was the result of me sharing my sausage stuffing the stuff is so good i stuffed it inside of the turkey and that is the turkey leg i am a dark meat girl so i made sure to have that alongside of my stuffing with some mashed potatoes and broccoli and cheese had to have cranberry sauce with it absolutely delicious and this sausage stuffing is my favorite recipe it is super simple super easy absolutely delicious and i am already ready for fall you guys okay guys so tonight for dinner i made country style pork ribs on the barbecue alongside some buttered noodles and a caprese salad so these country style ribs, you would normally say, okay, nothing spectacular, right? Ribs are ribs, but what makes these ribs amazing is the rub that is on them. So this is the coffee garlic rub from Trader Joe's. 
it made like the perfect crust on the ribs it gave such a delicious flavor i already got to try it because i cut up the rib to put in the kiddos plate and it um, the rib almost didn't make it to their plate because i couldn't wait to make my own it really is so good it was super tender daryl said he used the meat thermometer out there and like waited till it was just the perfect temperature so he really did get it cooked perfectly and then it's just regular buttered noodles with salt and pepper and then this is a caprese salad with a fresh basil from my garden this is a tomato from my mother's garden and then it's just salt pepper and some parm cheese and then the balsamic glaze from trader joe's so this is what we are having for dinner tonight Okay guys, so tonight for dinner I had mentioned I wanted to take it nice and easy and we were doing a grilled cheese and soup. So this is actually a like 12 grain seed bread that I got from the Dollar Tree and I just grilled that up in the pan with just a couple of slices of American cheese. And then for the tomato soup, this is the tomato soup that I got a while back from Trader Joe's and I kept putting it on the meal plan and then it just kept getting bumped but I am so sad that it took us so long to try this because this is really good. Now I grew up on like Campbell's tomato soup and I love that flavor, but that is not a good quality soup to have. But it's very hard to find an organic creamy soup. Not so much any kind of brothy sear, uh, soup, that's very easy to find, but something creamy based like this, I, I struggle to find and I like creamy based soups, but this is really really good and I'm so glad that I got it and normally I would crush up like a crazy amount of Ritz crackers because I like my soup to be like thick like oatmeal with Ritz crackers I know it's crazy but it's just something I've done since I'm a kid but Daryl ate all of the crackers while I was gone and I don't go to Trader Joe's until Friday so I'm gonna do what everybody else does which I normally don't do but I'm going to dunk my grilled cheese in the tomato soup and that's how I'm going to eat it so this is what we're having for dinner tonight okay guys so tonight it is football and taco so I'm so excited I didn't even know that Madison was a Cowboys fan but the Cowboys are on tonight so we have them on the TV and we made a bunch of tacos and we're all just hanging out and eating tacos and watching football so good times here and I made rice in my instant pot which actually came out really really good uh, I didn't have beef broth which I usually use in the instant pot but I used bouillon cubes instead and then then I use that cheese dip, great value, Walmart brands like flavor packet instead of taco seasoning and I just put it in the Instant Pot and it's fluffy and cooked and it tastes delicious. So we have that alongside of our just regular tacos. So we have ground beef and I have nacho cheese in there and shredded cheese and lettuce, tomatoes, sour cream and we have a soft one and a stand-in stuff. And that's it guys, that's what we're having for dinner tonight. And this is the last clip in this what's for dinner video. So if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I post a what's for dinner once a month here on the channel. For everybody else guys, thank you so, so much. I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.